आज हम करेंगे रेंज रैंक नल्की ऑफ अ लिनियर ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन फर्स्टली वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट रेंज इफ यू एंड बी आर टू वेक्टर स्पेसिस ओवर द फील्ड एफ देर आर टू वेक्टर स्पेसिस देर वन इज यू एंड वन इज एंड टी इज अ ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन विच शिफ्ट द एलिमेंट्स ऑफ यू टू बी And T is the net transformation. Then image set of U under T. But of course there are x1, x2, x3, x4 some elements. Okay. And they transformed under cos y1, y2. Uh, these two transformed in this. These two transformed in this cos. And zero transformed to zero dash. Of course there are only five elements. There is also. Four by five, five elements. But these five elements are shifted in three elements. Then these three elements are known as range of T. Elements of U shifted in V, and they are connected with how many elements? Okay, here y four is present, y five is present. But no element of U is connected with y4 and y5. We will we can, uh, exclude these two elements. We take only these three elements. Then these three elements are known as range of T, and it is denoted by range T, image T, R T, okay, T V. Range of T means transformation of elements of U, where U belongs to. So these three elements will known as range of T. Now what is range of T? So we will write it as it is only y1, y2, and zero element in this example. And how many? Now I know what is rank of T. Rank of T, number of elements present in range of T. There are three elements. Then rank of T is rank of T is three. Number of elements in the range of T is known as rank of T. Okay. If U and V are two subspaces over the field F, and T is a transformation from U to V, then the dimension of range space is called range rank of T, and is denoted by rho of T. That is dimensions of range space mean number of elements in the range space. What is null space and kernel of a subspace? Let U and V are two subspaces. U and V are two subspaces. And T is a transformation, linear transformation from U to V. Then set up all the elements of U whose image these three elements whose image in this is zero. O dash. Set of all the elements whose image, like x4 is there, x5 is here. But this x4 tends to y4. This x5 tends to y5. Y1 is there. Y2 is there. Y3 is there. Okay. And zero also present there. Zero will go always goes to zero. O dash. Okay. Then number of non-zero elements. Zero will goes to zero. This is fixed. The zero will goes to the O dash. Okay. Then number of non-zero elements whose image is O dash zero in V. These elements are known as kernel of T or null space of T. Okay. So what is null space of T? Null space will be x1, x2, and x3 because these three elements has image O dash in V. And what is nullity? Nullity means number of elements in range space. This is known as nullity. Clear? Yeah? Null space means non-zero elements goes to zero. Zero will goes to zero. This is fixed. Other number, uh, how many elements other than zero goes to zero dash? These elements are known as null space elements. 
if u and v are two subspaces over the same field f and t is a transformation from u to v is a linear transformation then we have to prove that kernel of t is a subspace of v what is kernel of t elements of u whose image is zero under v we know that kernel of t is all the elements belonging to u whose image whose image under t is zero dash is zero vector of u so then these elements will be from u so therefore kernel of t is a subset of u we take two elements and t of 0 will be 0 dash this is compulsory okay therefore 0 belongs to kernel of t 0 is included every time this is the compulsory ki 0 belongs to 0 dash okay t of 0 will be 0 dash so kernel mein t to matlab 0 to ho gaya hoga other elements number of other elements will be kept the original okay so that therefore kernel of t is non empty here one element is present in the set we take two elements x and y belongs to u if they are belongs to kernel of t kernel of t okay then t of x must be zero and t of y must be zero if they belongs to kernel then they must be zero dash Okay. Now, p of alpha x beta alpha p of x beta p of y p of x is o dash zero dash. This is zero dash.
alpha white. This we can write it as P of x and we write it as beta. Beta P of x1 and beta P of x2. I can write it as alpha x1 plus beta P of beta x2. Then I will write it as P of alpha x1 and beta x2. So here I get an element which is linear, which is transformed with this element. Okay. Then this element is, this belongs to range of t. I take two elements, y1, y2. Let y1, y2 belongs to v. There exist, exists x1, x2 belongs to you such that px1 is equal to y1 and px2 is y2. These two elements are v of v and alpha, okay, alpha uh, we will take it as range of t or v. Okay. So alpha y1 plus beta y2 is also belongs to range of t. Okay. We will write it here as range of t. We take two elements y1 and y2 from range of t such that there exists some x1, x2 belongs to u such that px1 is equal to y1 and px2 is y2. So alpha y1 plus beta y2 is also an element of range of t. Therefore, range of t is a sub. If u and v are two vector spaces over the same field f, then linear transformation from 2 to V is 1 and 1, 1, 1 transformation. Then T will be 1, 1 if kernel of T has only 1 element. There is only 0 element which goes to 0 dash. No other element goes to 0 dash. If uh, only 0 goes to 0 dash, then T is 1, 1. We have to prove two parts. Okay? This is the part. Let's suppose that P from U to V is a linear transformation and T is 1 1. We suppose that T is 1 1. Now we prove that the kernel of T has only one element that is 0. Let any other element belongs to kernel of T. Okay. Then this implies T of x will be 0 dash. Okay. Okay. T of x will be 0 dash. I can write it as T of 0. Because 0 dash means transformation of 0 element. And because T is 1 1. Then T T cancel. This implies x is equal to 0. If I take any element in x, the uh, x in kernel of t, then it must be 0. Therefore, kernel of t has only one element that is known as 0. Sufficient term. Let kernel of t has only one element that is 0 and to prove we have to prove that p is 1 1. Right. We take two elements of u okay, such that p of x is equal to p of y. If p of x is equal to p of y, then p of x minus p of y will be 0. Because p is linear transformation, then p of x minus y will be 0. Okay. And here it will become 0 dash. p x minus y will be p of 0. And kernel has only one element. That is 0. Therefore, if this element image has 0, then this must be in kernel. 
एक्स माइनस वाई विल बी इन कर्नल तो एक्स माइनस वाई विल बिलोंग्स टू कर्नल ऑफ टी एंड कर्नल ऑफ टी हैज ओनली वन एलिमेंट फिर वो दिस मस्ट बी जीरो बिकॉज कर्नल ऑफ टी हैज ओनली वन एलिमेंट दैट इज जीरो तो देर फॉर इफ दिस एलिमेंट बिलोंग्स टू कर्नल ऑफ टी देन दिस मस्ट बी जीरो तो देन एक्स इज इक्वल टू वाई तो दिस मीन्स टी ऑफ एक्स इज इक्वल टू टी ऑफ वाई इंप्लाइज एक्स इज इक्वल टू वाई 